Hello, 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 I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. I'm super excited about this video and you'll see why very shortly. And in this video, we're gonna be going to a range of different places, some places I've taken you before, some places I haven't. And before we start, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell and like this video. It really helps me out. And without further ado, let's dive right in to this vlog. Okay, today is a super, super exciting day. I'm heading to the airport. I'm not leaving Sydney, but I'm picking a couple people up and I'm picking up my parents. I'm seeing them for the first time in like over a year. And yeah, we're just about to head out. I've got a bunch of snacks for them that I've got in the back seat of my car. Maybe I'll show you in just a bit, but we're heading there right now. I haven't driven to the airport in a while so like you have a gps i'm very very close to the international airport but i'm not there yet i'm at one of the i guess like rest stops near the airport they've got like kfc maccas and whatnot and the reason why i do this is because my parents always used to do this and now it's just ingrained in me whenever i go pick someone up from the airport so parking at the airport is really expensive you get your first 15 minutes free but the thing is, you don't know how long baggage and you don't know how long immigration is going to take for the people you're picking up. And typically it takes more than 15 minutes. So what we usually do is we park at like one of the rest stops close to the airport and we wait until all the baggage is done. And then they'll call me or they'll text me when they're at the pickup area. And then I drive through the parking, go pick them up all under 15 minutes and it's free. So they're still waiting for their bags. So I might get a coffee. Nice. All right, I've got my coffee and now we just, we just wait for the text. Not bad, not bad for a dollar forty. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we are now heading to dinner. This is the first family dinner in over a year. We're super excited. With my parents, in terms of restaurants, they usually gravitate towards the same few restaurants. So this is a place that I've actually featured in one of my videos before. It's 257 Home Kitchen. We've ordered eight, I think eight different dishes. Um, we've got like dumplings, we've got the fish again, we've got fried rice, noodles. I'll show you everything when it comes. Okay, my sister absolutely loves the fish. So every time we come here with a big group of people, she's always like, can we order the fish? So we did, we ordered the fish this time around. All right, we are pretty much done with dinner. I'm pretty full from everything that we had. My brother wasn't, so he's gone to get more dessert. Um, I've actually filmed an entire video at this restaurant before. If you want to check it out, you can watch this video right here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I am meeting the rest of my family for dinner. I think with my parents, I think I mentioned before, once they have a few restaurants they like, they always go to the same few ones. And tonight we are heading to a place that I have featured previously 
in one of my videos, you can watch it right here. It is Rising Sun Chinese Restaurant here in Beverly Hills. And as usual, I will show you everything that we order. I think we're gonna be eating a lot of seafood. So I'm super excited. And we've ordered a whole range of dishes off their set menu. The one on the far left is what we got. Don't worry, I'll translate everything in my description. The soup that we've got is a fish more sea cucumber broth. It's quite viscous though. Add a little bit of vinegar and it like enhances the flavors. The scallop is delicious. What we're going to be having right now is lobster. There is, I think, two lobsters here. We added an extra lobster because we have more people. And it looks absolutely amazing. We have noodles on the bottom, which is great because, like, the noodles just soak up the flavor of the lobster. It's delicious. Look at this lobster. My brother got me one that doesn't involve a lot of work. I can just bite into it. Okay, let's try these noodles. If you've never tried lobster with noodles at the bottom, I urge you to give it a go. In terms of fish, my preference is usually sashimi, but if you steam fish well and you add like soy sauce and spring onions and ginger, it is just so good, especially that soy sauce on rice. Absolutely delicious. We got one bowl of rice because I was the only one who wanted rice with all these dishes. In addition to all the seafood, we also have picking ribs, we have chicken, and we also have a thing of vegetables. Okay, the background that you're seeing right now is quite plain because I've just rearranged all the furniture in my study and I'm going to be getting like a painting here very soon and when it arrives I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Um, anyway, my parents and my brother are coming very soon because they're bringing one of their old shoe cabinets that they no longer use which is perfect because in the past few videos when I like am filming in my kitchen, I can see my pile of shoes in that really small flimsy shoe rack that we have. So I'm really excited to get like a much bigger shoe cabinet and I think it will fit all the shoes that I have and all the shoes that my sister have. And I cannot wait to get that set up. We are now heading to Goodfields in Linfield for some brunch slash lunch. I'm gonna show you exactly what we've got, but I've got a Benedict. My dad got a burger, my mom got fish and chips, and my brother, what did you get? Oh, smoked brisket. I didn't order a coffee for today because I've already had a large one, but I've been here for coffee before and then coffee is pretty decent. How was it, bro? How was your burger, Dad? How's your fish? Very fresh. I am currently here in Eastwood. I'm meeting my mum here because we are going to be buying a whole 
bunch of different things because she's cooking up like a feast tonight. So I'll be here to pretty much just help her carry the groceries essentially. I cannot wait for tonight because we're going to be eating so much. So my mom told me to come and line up first because the lines here are very long. Okay, tonight my mom is making pork ribs and the way she makes it, it's absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna show you, well, she's gonna show you how it's done. And right now we are going to get those meats. So my mum actually has a trolley at home, but she didn't bring it today for reasons unbeknownst to me. <laughs> anyway, we dropped off the, the meats and the vegetables in the car and now we're going to get, what are we going to get? Fish and something from Woolies. And now we're going to go get fish and Woolies something fish. from Woolies. We're probably going to go to Woolies first. Oh, let's go. Okay, we're going to be having dinner So, Mum, what are we going to be having for dinner tonight? Wow, Okay, the Tim Sun Pai Guat is the one that I've always been talking about. That's my mum's signature dish, which we'll be showing you in just a sec, and I think we're going to. I think we're going to cut to that segment right now. All right, I've just arrived at my parents' place and I think my mom's already started cooking a lot of things, but she hasn't started cooking the pork ribs just yet. So we have the soup, we have the mushrooms, we have... I'm not really sure what that is. No. <laughs> the main character for the whole dish. Yeah, my fatum. Tongue tin chow. This and this have this So now we just wait for about 45 minutes. I will also include a recipe for this in my description. So if you want to make it yourself, you can check it out. Right now my mom is cutting the ginger and the spring onions for the fish that we're going to steam very shortly.
And there we have it. This is my mom's sweet and sour pork ribs. It smells absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna sneak a bite before everyone else comes to the table. It's so good. It's so appetizing. It goes so well with rice. I'll put a link to her recipe in my description. And if you do try this, let me know how you go. Okay, everything is now done. In terms of what we have today, we have veggies with fish meat, the sweet and sour pork ribs. We have the fish maw with mushrooms. We have the whole steamed fish with spring onions and ginger and soy sauce. And we also have like the soup. What's tong zha and ying mang? The ingredients that was used to make the soup. So my mom made the abalone and chicken soup. So we've got abalone, we've got chicken, and we've also got pork bones. And that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you, Ruby, for your comment last week. I haven't tried that before, but I will give that a go next time I need to. Thank you all so much for watching till the end. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, it really helps me out. And I will see you in my next video next week. Bye. My dad's wearing my mom's. <laughs> my dad's wearing my mom's jacket. <laughs> it looks it looks like a frog. <laughs>